Alright, so in this run I decided to have some more fun with the Badger. The Badger is just a really good unit and there's also quite a few ways you can use it. Uh, I think a really underrated thing is to go Badger in front and then have a kind of sacrificial second unit because most of the time you want to position with your strongest thing in the front and if you get a level 2 Badger then suddenly you're dealing a lot of damage and you can maybe kill their strongest unit with just your Badger. So it's a pretty nice counter, but I don't want to just stop at one badger. I mean, I've done some badger runs in the past. I had like two tiger badgers, but I just wanted all badgers. Like, I figured it'd be a great way to draw games, but uh, I don't know about actually winning. I guess if you put like five badgers and have one with honey in the back, maybe that will just win. I guess the unfortunate problem is that if they have anything that summons anything, you're probably going to lose to that team. But like... Summon builds aren't super common in Arena. They're, they happen occasionally, for sure, but like, uh, I would say the majority is like scaling teams because that's usually the most consistent way to win. But anyway, yeah, so I gotta be honest, I'm kind of running out of ideas for this game. Like, there's only so many animals. We're all waiting for Pack 3 to come out. Like, it should be pretty cool once it does. But until then, I'm not really sure what to do. I could buy the actual expansion pack since I haven't bought that for some reason and mess around with that. There's some cool strats involved the expansion pack, but for now, I mean, I'm just sticking with the uh, the base game. You can see I pilled another spider, got a giraffe. That's great news. Like getting an extra plus two plus two, that's very helpful. And now I can give melon armor to the thing that's getting buffed by the giraffe. I debated whether to just pill the ants because that happened. You know, the otter buff got a little bit wasted, but that's okay. It's only plus one, plus one. I don't think it's a huge deal if you waste the otter buff like that. Uh, and then I just bought honey, put the ants in the second to back. So the otter's going to have a lot of attack and trade, so the honey will win the game, hopefully. Or at least that's the idea. They had a bunch of mosquitoes that all completely missed the melon armor, so that was a little bit lucky. But yeah, there we go. That exact situation actually played out. It's also nice to have things that are pillable on turns 5 in case you roll into an ox, which, like, ox is one of the best units, and you can make it even stronger by just having something to pill. Usually level 2 ant or a flamingo is great, and uh, your odds of seeing ox and badger, they're pretty decent. Uh, like, you don't have to roll too frequently. You'll usually get, like, one of the two, or, like, a turtle or something. So, like, just having a badger or an ox, usually really helpful on your team just because they're so good. Anyway, I got two badgers already, so looking pretty good. And then I sacrificed the otter. It's only a 2-3. It's kind of a weird spot. Got the midline badger in the third spot. But, uh, yeah. So because I'm going with the badger run, I decided to not take ox. And, uh, yeah, so looking for a level up on the otter. Looking for a giraffe to buy onto, get a bunch of stats. If you do happen to go with the giraffe, I think it's pretty good to give it meat, usually. I mean, if you don't get the 2-2 version, the 2-5 version with meat... It's just pretty nice to have, I think, and, uh, yeah. So, the badger in the back, and then actually the bee from the otter actually won me that game, huh? That was pretty interesting. So, if you don't know, they changed the how the badger works a while ago. Uh, they made it so it no longer kills the bees. Like, if you have two badger bees, they just automatically draw. Like, there's no, whoever has the more attack kind of wins because their attack goes after. Now, it just ends up being a lot of draws. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing. It's like, uh, it felt a bit unfair because like a level 2 badger with lower attack would lose to level 1 badger, but I don't know. Uh, sometimes games can go on for far too long because of just a bunch of draws from honey badger. If you do want to draw an arena and try to like guarantee yourself a way to get to late game to maybe get like some achievements for level 3s or some ribbons and stuff like that, then a lot of times just having a badger in the back with no honey is a good way to try to... <clears throat> drag out the games a little bit longer and yeah uh, so I got three badgers now and now I have to figure out how do I position this so the giraffe is getting sacrificed just because I want to buff the thing with the the strongest badger with melon armor and now I like I just decide you know what we're gonna use the melon armor just as like the tank for the badger hits which is kind of an interesting strat but you can see in this battle I think it worked pretty well here like the melon armor you know, it's, uh, it's doing its job, and this ended up being another draw. But that's fine, because, like, at this point, I'm wondering, how long can we go? We have two wins, and it's turn nine, so we're guaranteed to go to the turn, like, 17, right? That's pretty crazy. Uh, at that point, like, you don't know what you're going to see in Arena. And now I've got Great Scaling, got Monkey Penguin. It's pretty much exactly what I want. Buff the thing with Melon, sacrifice the weakest unit. 
But yeah, so there's actually a kind of a weird curve in Arena where a lot of times the strongest teams will win in like turns 12 and 13, right? Because they'll get to 10 wins and then they disappear and you don't have to fight them anymore. So the teams that are left are like the, uh, the teams that have taken a while to actually build up the wins. So they maybe don't have like the strongest teams, but they're also super late in the game. So you can expect a lot of 50-50s and stuff. Early Cat, I think, is much better than Monkey. And I debated whether selling the fish, but the fish has melon, so I decided to keep it. Um, even though I have 10 hearts, so I shouldn't really t be wor too worried about losing here. But uh, even more scaling, I could go seal, cat, and penguin. I actually don't think that's really necessary. And I'm pretty sure I meant to freeze that sushi there. I just misclicked, and so I didn't freeze it. Classic. Uh, crocodile. That's one thing you want to keep in mind whenever you go badgers, is you want to try to get above that 8 health threshold just in case you run into a crocodile it's far less likely that someone actually has like a level two crocodile or like a parrot crocodile but uh gave it melon just in case and yeah this is looking pretty good now i have a seal and a cat frozen in the shop or a cow and that's going to be quite a bit of stats and i can sell this fish or honestly i could sell the penguin too like it's not giving too many stats but yeah this front badger is kind of ruining a lot of teams so uh, it's not going to be like a whole draw thing. I was going to see maybe how many draws in a row I could get. Like, how long could I stretch out an arena run? Like, could we get to, like, turn 30 in arena? That would be kind of cool. I actually, I don't think this was really worth it. So I decided to go Cat Seal because I figured, like, this is going well with the food build. Cat Seal, Cow, Penguin, it's just a lot of scaling. But I actually, I don't think it's necessary. Like, three scalers is actually unnecessary, I don't know how many times in a, wor in a row I said that word, but like, you usually only need two scalers. The dolphin snipe, the sacrificial thing, which is sometimes like, you want to put the thing in the second spot, or like the thing in the third spot that's also kind of weak, just in case it gets sniped, or like the penguin dies to splash attack or something, because that can happen. And yeah, just scaling with this food, level 2 cat, is pretty much all the scaling you need, and then freeze the sushi. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We're scaling pretty nicely, and we got two badgers. Two level two badgers, one in the front, one in the back. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Live by one HP there. What turn is this? Turn 14, guaranteed to go to turn 19. Get some good foods. The seals, it's pretty much just giving, like, a free pear, right? Or, like, a free salad. It's not that good. Uh, it's definitely sellable at this point. The penguin buffing the cat also pretty nice yeah so at this point i'm not really sure what i was thinking like uh i guess i just wanted to go all badgers but everything that is on my team has pretty decent stats at this point i guess the penguin doesn't have like the strongest stats but uh and getting level two seal means it's also going to be buffed by the penguin so this team it's not really like a good thing to pivot away from because everything has decent stats, it doesn't really seem necessary to add more badgers into this mix, unless if I'm trying to lose. And uh, I didn't really want to lose, I just wanted to get like the biggest meme team possible. But there we go, another badger, so I decided to sell the penguin. Was it the right move? No. But was it the right move to be to have fun? Also no, because losing, not fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, how many badgers can I get? That is pretty much the question here and uh, no longer have the automatic scaling, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but we're pretty close to 50-50 anyway. And uh, yeah, this is really like stretching out a long time because of uh, all the draws caused from the earlier rounds. But uh, I'm sure things will work out, right? I was thinking like, should I post more of the runs that I just lose on YouTube? Because I don't want every run to be successful. Then some of the like, you know, the what, like, the drama, I guess, is gone because you know what's going to happen. So that's not quite as exciting. I could put a one up on one of the badgers if I wanted to and put it in the back. One up is just like a slightly better version of honey because instead of spawning a bee, you spawn another badger, which ha will have its ability go off like one more time just in case they have like a bee or a rooster in the back or something like that. And yeah, another level 2 badger. So three level 2 badgers already. And now more melon. Okay, I decided to put it on the seal. And there's another badger. So I, next turn, I can get four badgers. It's looking pretty nice. 
and now I just have to figure out the positioning. So 24 attack on a level 2 badger means it's doing 48 damage, which means I could actually put the seal there, because it's just, it's going to break the melon, but it's not going to kill it, and that's kind of okay. And, uh, yeah, a lot of things are happening, and they have a random shark with garlic armor in the back. That's just, uh, unfortunately not going to do it for them. And now, the final step, buy a fourth badger. And then, I also roll into a tiger. So now, I'm thinking, like, okay, do I do it? Do I just go only badgers? Well, I'll go ahead and freeze it and see what happens. And, yeah, so. Seems okay to me. Let's put another quote-unquote badger. I mean, it's a tiger, but it's pretty much the same thing. And, yeah, so just a team of only badger abilities. And uh, sacrificing the weakest thing. Although, it's going to die and then deal 14 to the level 2 one, so I guess that's fine. And ran into something that didn't summon anything, so just, it turned out really well. And there we go, I actually won with 5 badgers, surprisingly. Like, I don't know how this happened, but it's, uh, it's normally not a great team, but it worked out in this one specific case. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.